the Vikings and Texans have made a huge draft trade. The Vikings get the 23rd overall pick in this draft, keeping their 11th pick and giving up two second round picks to acquire this, 2020, uh, this 23rd pick from the Houston Texans. And I think this is what is the ammo that the Vikings are trying to get to trade up for a quarterback. And uh, well, let's do a first round mock draft and let's see what happens if the Vikings do trade up for a quarterback. For the Bears starting, I'm gonna give them Caleb Williams. The whole Justin Fields saga has been very interesting as he's not been traded yet, but we've seen other quarterbacks get traded. And by this point, I feel like he's not gonna be a starter next year that I thought many, I thought he would either be in like Pittsburgh, maybe Atlanta, um, maybe some other teams, or he could have headed to Seattle where he'd back up Geno Smith for a year, but that's gonna be Sam Howe and not Justin Fields. So I find that all interesting, but I think the Bears are still locked in on Caleb Williams, and I think that's going to be the pick for the Bears. Commanders, they need themselves a quarterback. They are right here at two. Go ahead and select Drake May, and that makes a ton of sense. Uh, I think he definitely fits what they're trying to do, um, and that's a good place for a quarterback, a rookie quarterback to be with Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson. You're going to have Zach Ertz, probably another playmaker in there. Austin Eckler, Brian Robinson, that offensive line's being built. And, I mean... So, so I find that really interesting, um, and I think it, it's kind. Of, this is kind of a lock that they're going quarterback, especially after trading Sam Howe, and, and I just think that is the uh, best thing for the commanders to do, and I think he is the second best quarterback in this draft. Now, this is where the draft really starts, in my opinion, is that the third pick. Um, the Patriots could be a team that takes a quarterback, like Jaden Daniels, or they could be a team that trades down. And for this mock draft, for this exercise, this is going to be the trade down spot with the um, Minnesota Vikings. And where are they at here? Pick 11. And we're going to go and pick 3 into pick 23. And now, most likely, there would be more compensation for this pit, for this um, trade up as this would be a third round, three first round pick territory like we saw with the... With the um, San Francisco 49ers a few years ago, and they probably would throw in three. Obviously, there would be different other things, but we're, for the purpose of this, we're not really focusing on the extra picks as much when this, you know, we will have trades in this. So we're going to force this trade. The Vikings move up. They're going to get their quarterback, either Jaden Daniels or J.J. McCarthy. I'm going to have it be Jaden Daniels for now, even though I think J.J. McCarthy could be the pick. I think it's going to be really interesting. It might be a... Mac Jones, Trey Lance type of situation that the 49ers had a few years ago, even though J.J. McCarthy is not Mac Jones and Jaden Daniels is not Trey Lance in terms of prospect and talent-wise, you know, and just um, overall grade when prospect-wise coming into this draft. But you get the rid the feeling of, okay, it's going to come down to those two quarterbacks and it feels like Trey Lance is, or not Trey Lance, Jaden Daniel is the perceived better quarterback, right? And I agree with that. But it's like, okay, J.J. McCarthy is the other quarterback that may fit the scheme and may fit the coaching a little better. So I, I would be, in, if this happens before the draft, I'm very interested to see that con that discourse with the Vikings. Now the Cardinals on the clock, they're going to stay put. They're going to go ahead and get their guy in Marvin Harrison Jr. The Chargers let go of Keenan Allen. They traded him to the Bears. Mike Williams has been cut. They need receiver help. A few days ago, I would have told you this is the Joe Alt pick, but they need receiver help badly, and I'm going to give them Malik Neighbors. The Giants also need receiver help, and they're going to get their guy, Rome Odunze. Now, I think this is definitely like a... This feels somewhat of a trade-down scenario for the Titans if there is... um, uh, what's, what's the word? If, if there is a trade-up uh, team... And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, there is there is a team that would be willing to trade up with the Tennessee Titans, and that's the Denver Broncos. They're going to get their guy. Um, and, I mean, even the Patriots are on. I think the Patriots are also another team that could trade back up like we've seen the Cardinals did last year. And it's so interesting because I think it, if this was the scenario, it would be a bidding war between the Patriots and Broncos to possibly move up. But for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to the Broncos because I feel like this has been the the rumored the rumor, uh, I guess selection of a very of like a month or so now. The Broncos move up. They get their quarterback in J.J. McCarthy. The Falcons are now in the clock. 
I feel like this is the most likely pick. This is the pick that you can put in pen. You can you can cement it. You can like I don't think this is changing, and that's the Falcons selecting Dallas Turner. They got some playmakers, so I think receiver could is kind of out of the play. They got Darnell Mooney. They got some other guys. Obviously, now that with Kirk Cousins, they can now help out the defense. No need for a quarterback. So, Dallas Turner, the best edge rusher in my opinion. I think he's going to go because of his athleticism as well. So, I think that's a huge, huge piece for the uh, Falcons defense. And now, this is another trade up or trade down scenario as the Bears got Keenan Allen. No need for a receiver. And the top three receivers went off the board. Now, who would trade up is a, such an interesting situation. Um,. Because it could be like the Bengals, it could be the Colts, maybe a Brock Bowers trade up, or it could be it could be the Tennessee Titans. The Titans are gonna move back up, as again very similar to the Cardinals last year, as I mentioned earlier. They're moving back up. They're selecting Joe Alt, so they move down, get some picks, move up, maybe get a little bit of profit with the draft assets after both trades and they get their tackle in Joe Alt. The Jets get their offensive tackle in Olu Fashanu. And now the Patriots are back on the clock. Or on the clock I know they they'd be back on the clock. I I still think they need a quarterback. I still do. And maybe they don't. Maybe they wait. Maybe they feel comfortable with Jacoby Brissett for a year and they look for next year's draft. Maybe this is a team that trades for Justin Fields. Now, the, this could be a Patriots team that trades for Dustin Fields, and I wouldn't be opposed to making that trade in here, but we're not because then that would be so much to go on in this. Like, this scenario is about the Patriots trading down and the Vikings trading up. And again, I guess because if they trade down, that very well could happen. But I'm going to give them a quarterback, even though I think, I think Brock Bowers for the Patriots would be really good. I'm giving them Bo Nix. I think Bo Nix is the better quarterback out of the last two in Bo Nix and Mike o -O Penix, but at the end of the day, I don't really, it don't, I don't, to me, it's like, oh, they get Bo Nix, they get Michael Penix, it wouldn't matter to me, so you can substitute them out, whichever one you think is better, or maybe whichever one you think is the better scheme fit, but for now, I'm just going with my best, my uh, rankings, and I'm gonna go Bo Nix for the Patriots as they get their quarterback. The Bears are on the clock here. I think they go Byron Murphy. I think that's a really good pick to help out their interior defensive line. Uh, with Montez Sweat, I think an uh, edge rusher could be in play as well, but um, I'm going to give them Byron Murphy there. The Raiders are on the clock. I'm going to give them a cornerback in Quinion Mitchell as they got Christian Wilkins on the interior. Uh, they obviously had Max Crosby, Tyree Wilson on the exterior of that defensive line. I thought that could have been a place they go, but now that they signed Christian Wilkins, they don't really need that. But a secondary is definitely still in play with Nate Hobbs, a few other guys. And I think Quinion Mitchell is going to be the first cornerback off the board. I'm not saying he's the best. I, I prefer Cooper DeGene. But I think Quinion Mitchell is probably going to be the first quarterback off the board or cornerback off the board. The Saints, they need a tackle. They're going to be pretty happy with Talise Fuaga. The Colts, this is where it gets really interesting. Because I think they could be a Brock Bowers situation, like a Brock Bowers locate um, draft spot, especially the fact that he's still on the board. Um, but this could be also a cornerback spot. I, I think uh, like a Terry on Arnold could make a ton of sense, and I, and I think that's where I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna uh, receiver is also a possibility, but I'm gonna give them Terry on Arnold. The Seahawks. They need some offensive line help. They're going to get their guy, Troy Fontanau, Troy Fontanu. I still got to learn his last name, but a guy that can play outside, inside, on the you know, tackle guard, and they could use some help kind of anywhere on that offensive line. Pro they'd, they'd probably move him to guard, which I think that would be a really good decision. Not saying he can't play tackle, but you would get a really good guard as well. The Jaguars, they, they lost Calvin Ridley. I'm going to give them the next best receiver, in my opinion. That's Brian Thomas Jr., a guy who can really be you know open up the field downfield which they they have been able to and i guess it's it's it it's a little bit wishy-washy because they did bring in gabe davis but brian thomas is also that bigger body receiver I, I just think they could use another receiver and i think brian thomas would fit their team perfectly Bengals, they're pretty happy brock bowers fell which i don't know how likely that is like i think 
Maybe the Bengals are an option to trade up with the Bears at number nine to get Brock Bowers. Same thing with the Colts. Or the Colts could have been the team to take Brock Bowers. Um, or any, honestly, any of these teams could have took Brock Bowers. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame them because he is that good of a prospect. And I think this is going to be the last trade here that we're going to have. And that's the Miami Dolphins making a little move up, a little jump of two picks. They're going to go ahead and get their guy, make sure Jackson Powers Johnson, they need some help on that interior. Get your guy. Uh, Steelers, I think they're going to go cornerback or just DB in general. Cooper DeGene, the, the, the um, next best cornerback on the board, honestly. And again, in my opinion, the best cornerback in the draft. Falls to 20, can play safety, can play anywhere in the secondary. And that's going to be very good for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the Rams, they're, you know, Aaron Donald just retired. That's been crazy. I th they could go edge rusher. They can go interior. Jason Newton, Jared Verse, Leatu, Leatu are all players that could be drafted right here. And I think that's where they're going to go. I think they're going to go defensive line. And I, I'm going to give them Leatu, Leatu. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them Latu, Latu, but Jerzon Newton could also make a ton of sense. The Eagles, um, they are bringing back Josh Wett, signed to Bryce Huff. No need for an edge rushers necessarily. Um, linebackers could still be in play, receiver. I, I was going to give them DB, give him a safety, Tyler Newbin. I uh, haven't looked too much into him, but from what I've seen, he's probably the best safety in this draft, and I, I think he could go first round. Now, the Patriots are back on the clock. They need a receiver bad. They get A.D. Mitchell. And they're going to pair him up next to Bo Nix, um, Jacoby Myers. And that should be a that should be a good receiving. That should be a decent enough receiving core for for the rookie Bo Nix. You know, that, that's not the worst situation in the world like we saw Bryce Young in last year. The Cowboys, going to give them a tackle. Going to give them a Marius Mims. Go play both sides. Tyron Smith, um, probably not coming back to Dallas, most likely. So we'll see what happens with that. The Packers, I'm going to give them another offensive tackle. J.C. Latham, kind of their David Bakhtiari replacement. You can move him to the left side or you can move your right tackle. You have already to the left side, however you feel more comfortable with that. The Buccaneers getting very lucky as Jared Verse falls into their lap. Pretty, pretty good for the, um, for the Buccaneers. Cardinals, they need some defensive line help. Jazan Newton, get that guy on in the interior, and that's going to be really good. Uh, the Bills, they could go receiver. I think that's in play. They did side in Curtis Samuel. But I, th ooh, I would have them go receiver. And if so, it would be like Lad McConkney, maybe. Maybe they, they're interested in Keon Coleman. But Nate Wiggins is still on the board. They could use another DB. Nate Wiggins, Buffalo Bill. And that's very unfortunate for the Lions, who also could have used a cornerback. With that being said, I could give them Kamari Lasseter. I'm a big Kamari Lasseter fan. But I'm going to go ahead and give them help on the interior um, of the offensive line with Zach Frazier. Can play guard, can play center. The Ravens, they're going to need another receiver. From the guys left, I'm going to give them Lad McConkney. An elite separator fast i think that's going to be good on in their offense now the 49ers they need off the line help graham barton you can move him inside move him to the right side um, as a tackle or you can play guard so that's really good for the 49ers and the chiefs they also need a receiver they got rasheed rice marquise brown i think i'm going to give them xavier worthy um again really light well, you know same thing with marquise brown he's on the lighter side so, I don't know. Troy Franklin is still in play. Ricky Pearsall. Maybe they really like Keon Coleman. But I'm, I'm going to give them Xavier Worthy and have that be um, it for the first round the mock draft. You can take a look at the mock draft right now. Comment down below what you would change and subscribe for more. Peace out.